Yo, folks, grab your oat milk and lattes and get comfy because we're about to dive into the world of Denzel. And trust me, this one's a must watch. Welcome back to the movie blog. Today, we're talking about the film that's been on everyone's radar this weekend, The Equalizer 3. That's right, Denzel Washington is back to kick some bad guy ass. But before we spill the tea on this action pack flick, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe for more epic movie reviews. Now, as usual with these reviews, we're gonna talk a little bit about what this movie's about. McCall is back and he's found himself a new quiet life in the southern part of Italy. That peace that he's now found is, going, is being disturbed by the Italian mob. He's gonna do his best to take on the mafia and save the people he loves. Now, let's kick things off with the good. Buckle up, because this movie was a wild ride from start to finish. First off, the cinematography? Top notch. I'm talking breathtaking wide shots that showcase the stunning countryside and coastal cities of Italy. Seriously, it's like a travel vlog on steroids. And those one cut scenes? Ah, seamless editing that makes it feel like you're right there in the action. Oh, speaking of action, this movie doesn't waste any time. It dives headfirst into the action and Denzel Washington, my man is a legend. The man can do no wrong and this film is no exception. But here's the real star, the Italian scenery. Sicily and Italy have never looked this good. I wouldn't be surprised if tourism skyrockets after this movie. In the story, it's a roller coaster of emotions. McCall finding peace, it's a bit weird, but it's also heartwarming to see him defending it like a boss. Plus, he gets that nice reunion with Dakota Fanning in this movie that just adds like a lot of emotion to the things when you think about their relationship in the film Man on Fire with director Tony Scott. A lot of things going good for it, but <laughs> there are some things that's bad. So let's get real and let's talk about the bad. First off, can someone explain why bad guys always catch heroes at their sloppiest moment? And it's usually embalming a kid. It's like a universal rule. Now, let's talk about the villains. Don't get me wrong, they were decent, but it felt like watching the Terminator versus a bunch of wet paper bags. Seriously, these guys were softer than baby food. And Dakota Fanning's character, actor, girl, you have potential, but they didn't give you much to work with. It's like they forgot you existed halfway through the movie. We need more from our supporting characters. Anyway, overall, enough of the bad vibes. The Equalizer 3 is the hidden gem that deserved more hype. Seriously, why didn't they promote this like they do the latest pumpkin spice latte? It's better than going straight to HBO Max, that's for sure. And if you've suffered through The Flash recently, this movie is the perfect palate cleanser. It's like seeing all of your favorite Denzel movies wrapped into one. Yo, you know what I mean. We've got the caring father, we've got the vengeful assassin, and then we've got the life lessons that come in between. So grab your popcorn, call up your movie squad, and make a beeline for the nearest theater because the Equalizer 3 is the action pack feel like you didn't know you needed. And hey, if you've already seen it, drop your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more epic movie reviews. Until next time, stay woke and stay entertained. Peace out.